morning, children. I hope you're well. Welcome to another collective worship. Open the book. Can you remember the last time we opened the book? It was when Jesus was only a few months old and his parents, Mary and Joseph, brought him to the temple. A very old man, Simeon, and a widow was a prophet, Anna, recognized him as God's son, the savior and the light of the world. And they told everyone about it. Well, today we come to the final week of Jesus's earthly life. Jesus is with his disciples, whom he called his friends. They had been with Jesus for a long time, well, for at least many years, when he healed the sick, stopped people from being harmed by others, and helped people to have a second chance in their lives. And then, of course, he performed miracles. He showed people God's power and the way to God. Well, we are going to open the book again today. And the disciples will be singing at the end of the story. I hope you will join them when they sing. But now, let's open the book. The day of the Passover festival had come, and Jesus and his disciples were preparing to celebrate with a meal together in the upper room of their friend's home. Come in, the meal is nearly ready. Hello, 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 hi. Hello. Hi, hello, hello. welcome, hi. Jesus is preparing to tell his disciples that the time has arrived when he won't be with them much longer. Jesus will be going to be with God, his Father. So, here we are, and the meal is about to be served. Jesus will reassure his disciples of his love for them. He will show them how they are to love one another. Jesus is looking rather thoughtful. I wonder what's on his mind. Martha, may I have the bowl for washing our feet? Here you are. A jug of water and a towel too. Jesus, friends, you have called me master. A master who loves those who follow him must love them with a true and humble heart. Let me show you what I mean. John, let me wash your feet. Not me, O oh Lord. How could I have you wash my feet as a servant? Peter, do you not understand that I love you so much that I will serve you? If I don't wash your feet, my love is not being shown and received by you. O oh Jesus, my Lord and Master, please be gentle and heart of me. Peter, washing your feet is enough. This is an example of what I want you to do. Do as I do, love one another, as servants to each other. See, I have washed all your feet. 
but one of you will betray me. Oh, no, it won't be me. Not me. Not me. Now the one I love and to whom I now pass this piece of bread is my betrayer. Judas takes the piece of bread, looks down at his hands as he receives it, then with a dark look faces Jesus. Friends, let us eat. Jesus takes the loaf of bread, breaks it, and passes it round. This is my body, given for you. Share and eat this to remember me when I have gone. Jesus takes his cup of wine and passes it round. This is my blood. Drink it to remember me. The disciples look at each other perplexed as they chew their bread and drink their wine. I am giving you a new way to live by love one another as I have loved you. If you love one another, people will know that you are my disciples. When they had all finished their meal, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And the disciples went with him, singing a hymn. Jesus' disciples looked up to him as their leader. But he surprised them when he asked them to let him wash their feet. They were a bit puzzled when Jesus broke bread and shared it with them, and poured wine into a cup and shared that with them too. Now I want you to just close your eyes and think about what Jesus did. He washed his friend's feet. Imagine their dusty feet because they'd walked everywhere in open sandals. Imagine bending right down to clean those feet. After everyone was washed, Jesus served them bread and wine. And shared a meal with them. But the way he served them turned their expectations upside down. Could you be like Jesus and show you love others by what you do for them? Now I'm going to pray and if you want to make this prayer your own just say Amen after the prayer. Let's close our eyes and pray. Thank you God for Jesus who shows me that loving is about serving others, even doing unpleasant humble things. Help me to be loving like Jesus. Amen. I hope you enjoyed opening the book today. Well, let us sing the rest of the song 
As we close, I'll open the book, Collective Worship, today.